Hello everybody, hope you're having a wonderful week and welcome back to Rogue Upload. So what do my videos and EA's on loot boxes have in common? They're both surprise mechanics. Let's discuss loot boxes on Rogue Upload. So apparently EA wasn't all that happy with the 60 bucks US that they get selling each copy of FIFA 21 because, well, uh, they went and added uh, loot boxes to the game because, yeah, what drives player spending or engagement better than a loot box? You know, those quasi-gambling things where you never know what you're going to get and it's usually crap? Well, yeah, apparently they're in a soccer game, which, you know, I'm not quite sure how that worked. I thought soccer teams just had players on them didn't know you could pull better ones out of a hat there's apparently this mode in it uh fifa ultimate team or fut for short where players get to um put together a roster and play others uh online or competitively uh, a pro team can expect to pay 27k in this mode to get a competitive team Wow. Based on a report from Bleacher Report, they had a little uh, survey of various players, and apparently the vast majority, uh, 80% of players, say they haven't spent too much on the game, which is, you know, good, but there is that other 20% that thinks they've spent way too much on the game. And there lies the challenge of these loot boxes. They, they do drive kind of that uh, engagement, but they also turn off players and maybe making players spend too much money, which obviously is bad. I mean, Bleacher Report also said that upwards to two thirds of players would actually play the mo mode more if there were no loot box mechanics in it, possibly because the playing field would then be level and they would feel that they were at a severe disadvantage if they didn't pony up that serious cash to get the, uh, you know, the best players. So why does EA feel that they need to drive players to, you know, spend big bucks on their games? Well, one thing could be that they deeply discount their games quite quickly after release. Uh, you can pick up uh, FIFA 21 for like 20 bucks at Best Buy right now, and apparently it's retailing for 30 bucks. This is this year's game. It's already like half off. And well, what allows them to slash the prices is probably those loot box mechanics. They are basically funding the game. And at this point, you might ask, why doesn't EA just make it free to play and just fund the entire thing <laughs> using loot boxes? CBC is reporting that they've gotten their hands on internal documents from EA showing that um, basically their whole strategy with FIFA 21 is driving people to that mode, obviously in the hopes that they will then spend money on the game so things like the team is squarely focused on engaging current players through mid-September, actively messaging players, incentivize to convert. <laughs> so basically just playing the game isn't enough. You, you, you want to convert them into playing the fuck mode so that you get uh, money. Sure. And uh, yeah, fuck is the cornerstone and they are doing everything they can to drive players there and uh you know you know uh, a, a slide title is turning up the heat you know you gotta you gotta make sure you roast your players uh just enough yeah don't want to get them burnt out but uh you know turn up that heat so is it surprising ea is trying to drive people to the fuck mode so that people um play those modes and you know pay more money to ea Absolutely not. We should absolutely expect companies to do that kind of thing. Where it gets into questionable tactics is that these loot box mechanics have often been 
compared to gambling. People, you know, regret spending so much on games because of the engagement they get out of those loot boxes. Personally, I play a game called uh, Swaggo, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which has some of this similar loot box mechanics. Uh, fortunately, they've steered away from um, those loot box mechanics gating players too badly. Uh, mostly, um, there's a balance where players can wait a couple months for those new characters to become free to play. And I definitely think there's a balance to be had where you can provide games for cheap to no cost up front, but still provide players with an engaging and exciting experience that, you know, it does take money to create. But has EA gone too far with FIFA 21? Uh, maybe. I mean, 27k to get a decent team for your... That's pretty nuts. So, what do you think? Are loot boxes the bane of gaming? Do they turn people off otherwise excellent games? Well, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below or message me at mbiestead on Twitter. I'm Matthew for Rogue Upload. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>